Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be showing you our apartment balcony makeover that we started during lockdown. This was our before and we'll take you through the cleaning and redoing of the whole balcony. Stick around till the end to see how it turned out. We had an extra storage cabinet in the balcony which we decided to clean up and get rid of some of the things that were taking up space. We had two really old chairs that we got rid of as well. We wanted to do a thorough cleaning of the balcony so we had to take out our bamboo privacy fence. On the other side of the balcony, we had a coffee table and an old bookshelf that also served as extra storage for random things. We got rid of that too. We decided to give the balcony floor new life by painting it a different color. In order to get the best results, we first had to use dry lock to etch the floor. The dry lock cleans and makes the surface more abrasive, allowing the paint to settle on the concrete better. It's acidic, so be sure to wear gloves. After pouring the mixture of dry lock and water, we scrubbed the floor thoroughly to agitate the surface. After we were done scrubbing, we used a mixture of water and baking soda to rinse off the floor and to neutralize the acidity. We washed up the walls and then left everything to dry. The next day, we filled in the cracks on the floor with some putty and let it dry while we went over to our local hardware store to pick up some paint. We chose the Valspar Anti-Skid Paint. We chose the anti-skid paint because we wanted more texture on the floor and more of that natural feel. Our initial color was too bright so we decided to tone it down with a mocha color which translated beautifully after it dried. Oh, and always be sure to work your way towards the exit whenever you paint.
wanted to enjoy more time on the balcony and we were going for a cozy cafe vibe so we decided to get a balcony dining set from Ikea. My mom was throwing out her old carpet runner so we decided to use it in the balcony. It complemented the theme that we were going for. We found these bamboo poles on the side of the road, um, so we use these to create an extra accent to our balcony decor, which you'll see later. We also put some fairy and string lights to give a more cozy vibe during the evenings. We had gotten this wood carved panel from World Market a couple of years ago and wanted to incorporate it outside. So I'm gonna cut off 10 inches. If your bougainvillea is not blooming, it needs pruning. Wasim is extremely meticulous and in this case he pruned the bougainvillea exactly 10 inches from all angles so it could bloom. Wasim is the one with the green thumb, so he always ensures all our plants get the nutrients they deserve. I bought some bamboo placemats from Ross and decided to DIY our bougainvillea planter. I used E6000 to glue the placemats onto the planter. We made a decorative ladder with the bamboo poles. We had to measure and cut them and we used jute rope to tie them together.
had a few vintage vases laying around so I wanted to paint them to look like ceramic vases. I mixed equal parts paint and baking soda to give it that ceramic texture. cute are they? Hi! Pampas grass has a very special place in my heart because it looks so boho chic and I couldn't decorate the balcony and not have pampas grass. Hey guys, uh, finally doing our, our uh, final setup. Uh, this is after months of moving stuff around and you know, uh, repainting, repainting the floor. Yeah. Um, and then, as kind of as you can see, the bougainvillea, <laughs> it was nice and blossoming yeah. with the green leaves. So, yeah. as you can tell from the bougainvillea, it's uh, been a few months yeah. of revamping. But at least yeah. it's good. Yeah, it's, it's just I know. Yeah. That was a process in itself. But anyway, so here we are. This is going to be our final day of uh, finally kind of uh, readjusting yeah. everything. It's going to be our, possibly our permanent setup. Yes. I mean, we, we can always move stuff around, but. Yeah, just uh, seasonal yeah. changes. Yeah. Uh, but this will be our final step yeah. in decorating our balcony, and we hope you guys. macrame wall hanging to the ladder to give it more of a boho look. This is the final result and now we celebrate.
We hope you enjoyed the makeover and everything will be linked down below if you forgot to mention anything. Cheers! Thank you.